In this video, we will be ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. When we're ordering fractions, decimals, and percents, sometimes it's easiest to think about if our fraction is, or decimal or percent is closest to 1, 1 half, or 0. And this helps us because we can use these numbers of 1, 1 half, and 0 as benchmarks. So we're going to look at 15 sixteenths. Now let's think, okay, what is half of 16? What would 1 half of 16 be? Well, then it's, that's 8 sixteenths represents 1 half. So now we're going to think, okay, is 15 sixteenths closest to 8 sixteenths? 0. Or 16 sixteenths, which also represents 1. Well, obviously, 15 sixteenths is closest to 16 sixteenths. So in this case, 15 sixteenths of an inch is closest to one inch. For the next example, we're going to look at 5 eighths of an inch. And again, we're going to use the benchmarks of 0 inches, 1 half of an inch, or 1 inch. So 5 eighths of an inch, again, we're going to think, OK, what is half of 8? And that's going to be 4. So 4 eighths is going to be our benchmark, which represents 1 half of an inch. And then again, 8 eighths will represent 1 inch. So lo looking at this, we're going to say, OK, 5 eighths is closest to which one of these fractions? And notice how we made fractions out of each one of these numbers so they're easier to look at. So 5 eighths is closest to 4 eighths, which is the same as 1 half of an inch. When we're putting fractions in order from least to greatest, sometimes it's easiest just to turn those fractions into decimals. And we've learned how to do this. We can use a calculator. That fraction bar can also mean to divide. So we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator and rewrite these fractions as decimals. So the first one is 3 fifths, 3, let's see. So the first one is 3 fifths. 3 divided by 5 equals 0 0.6 or 0 0.60. Next is 4 tenths. A lot of you already know what 4 tenths would be as a decimal, but if you didn't, you could do 4 divided by 10, which is going to give us 0.4 or 0 0.40. Next is 9 divided by 20. which is 0.45. And lastly, 1 out of 25, which is 0 0.04. Now, when ordering decimals, it's really important to go place value by place value. So you're going to look at the tenths place only first. So I'm going to underline the tenths place in each of these numbers. We have a 6, a 4, a 4, and a 0. Now, looking at the underlying numbers, which number is the smallest? The smallest number is the 0. So 0 0.04, or 1 25ths, is going to be our smallest fraction. And we can just cross that out. That one's already done. Now, looking at the underlying numbers, which is the next smallest? We have a 6, a 4, and a 4. So the 4s would be the next smallest. So we're going to look at the number that comes after the 4. Like I said earlier, you could write this as 0 0.4 or 0 0.40. So looking at the 0 and the 5, which is the smaller number? 0 is smaller, so 4 tenths is our next smallest fraction. And after that would come 0 0.45, which is 9 twentieths. And lastly, process of elimination, our largest fraction would be 3 fifths. And we have now put these in order from least to greatest just by turning them all into decimals. Okay, looking at a problem like this, you're going to see this on your math boxes in your journals. It says write the following numbers in order from least to greatest. Well, it's hard to kind of approach this problem because we see lots of different types of numbers. We see some decimals, we see a mixed number, we see a fraction. So what we want to do is get all of these in the same form. And maybe the easiest way to do this is just to turn everything into a decimal. So looking at the decimal numbers we already have, we're just going to bring those straight down. So this is already in decimal form, and this is already in decimal form. 
So all we have left to do is to turn the three fractions, the two mixed numbers and the one fraction, into decimals. So looking at 4 and 7 fourths, let's first turn this into an improper fraction. So using our tri triangle trick, we have 4 times 4, 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. And then that's over 4, 23 fourths. And let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. 23 divided by 4 equals 5.75. Easy, we're just going to put that right on the line here. Okay, 3 fifteenths. We don't need to change that at all. Let's just plug it right into the calculator. 3 divided by 15 equals 0 0.2. Or this can also be written as 0 0.20. And lastly, let's just go ahead and turn this into an improper fraction. We have 5 times 5, 25. 26, 27 over 5. And we're just going to plug 27 fifths into the calculator. Nice and quick and easy. And we get 5.4. Now it's just a matter of ordering decimals. So let's look at all the numbers before the decimal first. We've got a 5, a 5, a 5, a 0, and a 5. Obviously our number that has a 0, our decimal that has a 0 before the decimal is going to be our smallest number. So 3 fifteenths is our smallest number here, and we can cross that out. Okay, next we have all the fives which match, so we're going to look at the first number after the decimal. We've got a 0, a 7, a 3, and a 4. The smallest number between those four is the 0, so our next smallest decimal or number is 5.03. We can cross that off. Okay, next we have a 7, a 3, and a 4. The next smallest would be the 3, so we're going to drop 5.3 straight down. Looking again, we have a 4 and a 7. Next smallest would be our 4, so we're going to take the original number, which was 5 and 2 fifths, and that's going to come next. And lastly, our biggest number would be 4 and 7 fourths, but the decimal is 5.75. So we'll place 4 and 7 fourths on our line. And it's as easy as that. Once you turn them all into decimals, it's very easy to order all these different types of numbers from least to greatest. For our last problem, we are going to write all of these fractions, decimals, and percents in order from least to greatest. Just like we did in the following problem, we just need to turn these all into the same form. So the easiest way to do this is to make them all decimals. So we're going to start with 1 7th. And to make it a decimal, we're going to do 1 divided by 7. And again, you can use your calculator. Now we're going to have to round. So we're going to round and make it 0 0.14. And then 93% written as a decimal is 0.93. And then 11 thirteenths, to turn that into a decimal, we're going to do 11 divided by 13. So we get 0 0.846, which would round up to 0 0.85. Next is already written in decimal form for us, so we just bring that down, 0 0.45. Again, we have to do some division, 4 divided by 9. So 0 0.44. Now 15%, we move that decimal place over two places to the left, so it's going to be 0 0.15. 0 0.95 is already written in decimal form for us. And finally, one last division, 5 divided by 8, gets 0 0.625 or 0 0.63. Now we just need to put these decimals in order. So we're going to look at the tenths place. We're going to underline the tenths place of each one of these decimals so we can put these numbers in order. It's very important, again, that you guys are underlining the tenths place then underlining the hundredths place as you go. So the smallest number we underline, the smallest number in the tenths place is a one. So we have two ones. So we need to look to the right of the tenths place, to the hundredths place, and think, okay, what's smaller, four or five? Well, obviously it's four. So 0 0.14, or one seventh, is the smallest number here. From there, we're gonna We'll write down 0 0.15 or 15%. That's our second smallest. So we can cross those two out. 
Now we need to look and see what is the next smallest number in the tenths place. So we've got 9, 8, 4, 4, 9, and 6. So it's 4. We have two numbers with 4s in the tenths place, and so we need to look to the thousandth, or the hundredths place, excuse me. And so 44, 0 0.44, is smaller than 0 0.45. And again, as we're doing this, we are making sure to go back up and write it in the form in which the problem was given, which is why we're writing it in fractions, decimals, and percents on the bottom. The decimals just help us put them in order. Now we're going to look again. The next smallest number in the tenths place is 6. So we have 0 0.625, which is also 5 eighths. And cross that one off. And next we've got 0 0.85, which is 11 thirteenths. And our last two, we're looking at 93% and 0 0.95. So we need to look to the hundredths place, and we have a 3 in the hundredths place versus a 5 in the hundredths place. So our next number is going to be 93%. And then finally, process of elimination tells us that 0 0.95 is the largest of these fractions, decimals, and percents. Now that problem is time consuming, but it's very important that you turn all of these fractions, decimals, and percents all into decimals in order to order them properly. Tonight on your homework, please feel free to use a calculator to solve your problems. In fact, you're going to need one in order to do what Ms. Cater and I have just shown you how to do. So feel free to use that calculator and we will see you tomorrow. So remember, just turn everything into decimals.